Hey, good morning. It's day five of our Disney Halloween on the High Seas cruise. Yep. Today we are at port. We are at St. Martin. Nope. St. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. We are at St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited today because we have a port adventure mm -hmm. and we're doing the snorkeling tour at Trunk Bay. Are you excited about that? Very. It's so supposed to be beautiful. Isn't that like a state park or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're excited to get out there and hopefully we'll maybe see Crush. <laughs> Maybe see some cool wildlife, marine yeah. life. We're going to switch to the GoPro now so you can come with us and see all of our underwater adventures. All right, so here we are on our way. Yep, we're gonna go check in for the excursion, hop on the ferry, and head to Trunks Bay. Trunk Bay for some snorkeling activities. Yeah. Go see Crush. <laughs> or Bruce. No, I don't wanna see Bruce. <laughs> Just Crush, please, and Squirt. All right, so we're walking over to the ferry boat that's gonna bring us over to Trunks Bay. Yep. We're excited. Let's Wait get... for these clouds to go away. Yeah, it's getting a little cloudy, but that's all right. This is the boat we're boarding. Island Girl. Island Girl. So the ferry, they have two um, spots. They have an inside area, it's air conditioned. They have a sun deck up top, and then they have like rail seating on the outside, which is covered, but it's on the outside. All right, we're about to get off the boat. Go hop on the taxi. It's like an open air safari. And that'll bring us over to Trunk Bay. After the boat on the right hand side, take a look at the buildings over there. They had some 40 feet waves that went right through the building. Yeah. Oh, that's why they don't have fronts anymore. They ain't got no front, they ain't got no back, they ain't got no top. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these over here, these are concrete roofs. But don't feel bad, you go to them, even the toilet bowl inside there, that we removed. So look at the fan, the fans are there, but there's no blade. There was a restaurant up there called a sugar mill. It's around 5% left. You know, sometimes you talk to people, they look at you like you sound crazy. Mister, there was not a leaf anywhere on the island after the hurricane. Around that time of the year, no light, no phone. Up to now, the phones are giving problems. They work for three days and then they stop. You're talking about, they say it does not go higher than 30 degree five. They're allowed to go to zero behind the five. <laughs> the 260 miles an hour cannot be category. I've been to many category five. You put all of them together, you add them, you multiply them, all of them together, it doesn't look. That lasted for nine hours. Yes, wow. yes. Nine hours, the nine hours look like nine months. You see on that tank spot you've seen over there? Yeah. Where the birds are diving, believe it or not, it's a fish in there. Fish. No, but you get it in Trong Bay too. This is where you're going. This is Trong Bay. All right, we just made it to Trunk Bay. Walking down for our snorkel gear. Breathing. Go where he goes. Just listen to the sound of the ocean. Here we are at Trunk Bay. This is the snorkel area. The instructor said that this blue area here is tons and tons of fish. Alright, so far it's pretty great. Lots of fish. So I don't know, so some pompano, so some yellowtail jack. Now 
swimming over to Stacy. How's the beach? So beautiful. I love the beautiful water and the white sand. So pretty. It's a little, it's a little windy, a little rough today, but the visibility is still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So you saw the squid? Squid. Saw some yellow amberjack. Uh, and then I think I saw some snapper too. Yep. Alright, so they just blew the whistle. It means it's time for us to go back in. I would say, all in all, Trunks Bay was awesome. There was lots of fish. Saw a huge tarpon. And if you didn't want to snorkel or anything, the beach is beautiful. So you can just hang out, lounge on the beach. The Trunks Bay excursion. It's definitely worth it. You should definitely do it. So we just got off the ferry from the excursion at Trunk Bay and we loved it. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the snorkeling around Trunk Bay was amazing. There was pelicans diving in everywhere. It was so crazy because there, there were so many fish in the water for the snorkeling. A lot of fish. There were some tarpon. I saw some tarpon, amberjack, snapper. There were some squids. So a lot of... I, I didn't see crush or squirt. But. <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoyed the aqua water and the white sand beaches. It was beautiful and it's a national park so it's it's like per pristine, perfectly pristine. Yeah. And it wasn't like too packed or busy. No, not at all. Yeah, even though there was like, I thought there was quite a bit of us on the tour, but mm -hmm. um, so the beach was big enough for everyone to spread out, have your own space. Yeah, we loved so, it. So really, I would definitely I recommend. recommend. Definitely recommend mm -hmm. Trunks Bay. Yep. So okay, now we're headed over to Census Spot. Since we're still in our bathing suit. I mean, why not? It sounds yeah. perfect to me. We're gonna enjoy the hot tubs and the, they have like special rainforest showers and theme showers and saunas. I heard there's a freezing one. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> Oh, and also heated stone loungers. I'm really excited to try. Sounds pretty amazing to me. Yeah, for $17, you can't pass it up. It's a deal. Cool. So let's yeah. go outside. Take a look. Hello. All right. Looking great. You're You got your spa sandals? Yeah, got my spa sandals. <laughs> great. Well, I'm relaxed. Uh, I'm, not, I'm still not 100% about this. This would be nice after the cold showers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking So these are the special showers. There's a rainforest theme, water fun, tropical thunder, and a cool mist experience. So each one has a different sensation that it does with the lights and the water, the temperature. Are you gonna go in? Yeah, we're going. Which one do you wanna do first? She recommended starting with rainforest. All right, I'll start with All right go on in, love. Trying the rainforest shower first. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, yeah? It's hot, it feels good. Okay. Yeah. So you like it? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. Now you're warm again. <laughs> Is that the last one? Okay. Hey, how are you? 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 Hey,
This is the modified tomato and onion salad. So Travis ordered two appetizers, two salads, and three dinners. <laughs> oh, yes. Big mistake. <laughs> this is the red Thai pumpkin curry with sticky rice. And the menu said bok choy, but this looks like spinach. Okay, just got back into the room. Let's see what kind of towel animal we got today. Oh, we got a penguin, and he brought some treats. <laughs> Coming over here, let's see what Stacy's up to. I am going over tomorrow's personal navigator. This is the Halloween day with our highlighter. This is on my list. If you go to my blog and you search for my Disney Cruise post, you will find my personal packing list. Bringing a highlighter is very important because when you go through the list, you want to highlight the things that are important to you because there's a lot of activities going on here and it can be overwhelming. So it just gives you a quick reminder of what you're interested in throughout the day and then you know, okay, I got to schedule this, schedule that. So this works good for me. I like it. Yep. Way to plan ahead, babe. There's so much to do tomorrow. I know. Tomorrow's going to be two action packs. There's a lot of Halloween activities and I want to do them all. I hear you. Yeah. Well, what's your plans for tomorrow as of right now? As of right now, we're going to check out Enchanted Garden. It's supposed to have a breakfast, buffet, and sit-down combo that starts tomorrow. So we're going to check that out in the morning. And then there's a Halloween craft I want to do at 11. And then trick-or-treating starts at 1230, which I don't know if we're going to trick-or-treat, but I still want to go check it out and see what, it, you know, see what it's like. We need to be in costume for that? I don't know. Probably. Well, not if you're not trick-or-treating, but I still want to see it. Okay. Um, and then... Well, I'd like to do the spider cake, but I think Mom and I are going to be at the afternoon tea, and you're going to be at Mixology, so. Yeah. But I wanted to see that. Um, let's see here. And then we have dinner at 545. Hopefully that's a Halloween-themed menu. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be great. And then the Mickey's Masquerade Party starts at 715. Definitely want to go to that. Definitely. In costume. Yeah. That's going to be like a dance party, I'm guessing, with all the characters. That'll be cool. Love dancing. And then I'd like to see Nightmare Before Christmas, but I don't know how I feel about the 3D along with the movement of the ship that might be a little much for me so we'll see about that but i would like to see that and then the adult her halloween isn't just for kids the adult halloween party in the tube starts at 10 45 action packed crazy and then the day after tomorrow is my favorite day my favorite port of the disney cruise castaway key it's the best day show me how you ride those jet skis no all right <laughs> We're going to go on to the veranda for a little nightcap. A little nightcap, real quick. Yep. Ready? Yep. Ooh, sounds haunted. Sounds haunted. <laughs> Perfect for a Halloween on the high seas cruise. Haunted veranda. <laughs> <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> I'm trying. Is it locked up top? Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Love you. 